Hello, this is Amjad al Mandilawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting a case of coronary intramural hematoma. This case is going to be an educational case. He was a 57-year-old man, diabetic, not hypertensive, and non-smoker, with a stable angina, scheduled for PCI to the left circumflex one month after stenting the LAD. This is a picodal view of the left coronary system shows a short left main stem. There is a focal critical lesion in the left circumflex. There is a stent in the LID and diagonal where a tap technique was used. This is the LIO view. It opens up the proximal cirque and shows a bifurcational lesion. So it was a straightforward case for provisional bifurcational strategy. Predilatation was done the lesion was tight and higher pressure was needed. This is the result after predilatation. The result is okay, but since the lesion was tight, we thought that further preparation was needed and so a larger balloon was used. And that was NC balloon 3 by 12. And this is the result after balloon dilatation. There is a clear tight stenosis away from and distal to the lesion. The first thing comes to mind is a spasm, since the outline looks smooth. So IV nitroglycerine was given, but the result remained the same. We needed intra-coronary imaging and IVAS was done. This is the angiogram side by side with the IVAS pullback. The IVAS pullback started just distal to the small branch which represent the proper cirque. There is minimal atherosclerosis and no dissection. Just proximal to, small, to that smaller branch, the hematoma start and with further pullback, it causes tight stenosis compressing the lumen to the size of the IVAS catheter. Now we are at the level of the proximal we will come to the level of the proximal bifurcation. This is still in the hematoma itself. We can see single wire. Now another wire comes to the view. This is the bifurcation. And the proximal to that, we see the, the hematoma extend proximal to the bifurcation. And this is the proximal cell clear of hematoma. For further explanation, we show still images of IVAS catheter and their relevant location on the angiogram. Here we can see the distal part, there is minimal atherosclerosis, and this is the small branch we can see on the angiogram at the level of the smaller branch. Here is the hematoma at the tight part we can see it compressing the lumen coming to the size of the avex catheter and this is the hematoma and it coincides to the tightest part of the hematoma. The proximal part, this is the hematoma and this is the true lumen. The way to differentiate hematoma from atherosclerosis is to look at the media. This is the media. It appears as a dark circle on IVAS. Atherosclerotic plaque appear inner to this part because it involves the intima. This is a plaque atherosclerotic part. While the hematoma appears between the layer of the media, this is, this is the hematoma, or outside the media. And in some cases, we can see the media is split into two parts. Now we are at the level of the proximal bifurcation. This is the, the main artery with the IVAS catheter and its wire. This is the branch, this OM branch and its wire. Here, is proximal to the bifurcation. 
and we can see two wires and we can see clearly this is the hematoma extending proximal to the bifurcation and here the proximal cirque is clear of atherosclerosis and is clear of any hematoma so a stenting was done it is important to choose a long stent to cover both the proximal and distal ends with a margin of at least 5 mm to prevent propagation of the hematoma. This was a 3.5 by 38 mm stent, the longest one was available in the cath lab. Post dilatation needed, and this is the final result. Also, it's important to have a look at the edges of the stent. This can be done by IBUS, and here we can see the distal edge completely covering the hematoma, and there is no edge dissection. Another way is to take an orthogonal view, and in this case is alloyo view, and shows a good result. The messages from this case is that balloon dilatation of a focal lesion can lead to propagation of dissection or hematoma well beyond the lesion, so the operator should be prepared to deal with that. IVAS imaging is useful to identify the cause of stenosis and the edge of the hematoma in addition to, the, to vessel sizing. And thank you.